Now we go to question 9. Question 9 says, when an object is in projectile motion, the vertical component of its speed does what? So it leaves a blank. And the horizontal component of its speed does what? So the choices are, uh, the first choice here is for the vertical component. It's vertical. And then the second one is the horizontal, right? So the vertical component stays the same. The horizontal stays the same. Do they both stay the same? B, the vertical component increases. The horizontal component decreases. The vertical increases. Horizontal stays the same. D, the vertical decreases. The horizontal increases. E, the vertical stays the same. Uh, the horizontal increases. So what are the answer? What is the answer here? So to analyze this, well, we know from projectile motion theory that when you throw something at an angle, you have to always divide up its motion into its x component and its y component, right? In the x component, gravity has no effect. So if you ignore the effects of air friction, the x component velocity should stay the same. The speed, therefore, should stay the same also. The x component never changes. So it just goes like that and comes back in, right? So let's say you throw something at 10 meters per second. You, the horizontal component is going to equal something like, let's say, 7. The vertical component is going to be some number such that the, this one will be the hypotenuse of them. So we could easily make a, let's say, 3, 4, 5 triangle, right? Let's say you throw something at 5 meters per second. And then you can say this is, uh, the horizontal component is 4 and this is 3 just for sake of illustration. So if you throw something at five at a certain angle, and you can make a three, four, five triangle out of it, so um, the horizontal component will be four. So as the object is going up, comes back down, the horizontal component will always equal four. When it, the, when it goes to the top, it's four. When it goes down here, it's four, okay? What's gonna happen to the vertical component the vertical component speed will decrease, 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 become zero. And then as it's coming down, the speed should uh, increase, right? So uh, by the time it gets here, right, somewhere here, it should look like this. Uh, I'll draw it a little bit here. It should look like this, uh, four, and then this should be two. By the time it gets here, it should be four and one. So what it, what's happening to the total speed of the ball? It's decreasing, right? 4, 2, this is going to be some number, square root of 16 plus 4, square root of 20. And then uh, you have 4 and 1, so this is going to be square root of 17. By the time it reaches there, what's going to happen? The, the only speed it has is horizontal, so it's going to be 4, right? And then it's going to come down, and the same things are going to happen, but this time the velocity is going to be negative. So it's going to be uh, negative 2, and then eventually 4, and negative 3. So if, when it comes back down to the same height that you threw it at, right, then you're still going to have the 3, 4, 5 triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we've said that, which of these choices makes the most sense? The vertical component of its speed, um, well, the vertical component of its speed can either decrease as it's going up, or it could increase, right? As it's coming down, it could increase the speed, right? So it starts uh, from zero here, then it goes two, three, four. The speed is just the magnitude of the velocity, right? So it's, as it's going up, it's decreasing the vertical component, and as it's going down, the speed is increasing. What's happening to the horizontal? Always staying the same, okay? So which of these answers could possibly be the answer? The horizontal has to stay the same, but this one can't be because it also says stay the same. This one, horizontal decrease, no, can't be. Stay the same, increases, okay, that's a potential answer. Decreases, increases, you can't have that. Stays the same, increases. No, you can't have the uh, horizontal component increasing here uh, and the vertical component staying the same. So the only one that makes sense out of these is C. The vertical component increases, 
uh, the horizontal component stays the same. So that means in this problem, the projectile was actually headed down. It was kind of, it was on its way down, so this vertical speed was increasing. If you had another possibility, you could have had decreases and stays the same. Decreases and stays the same. If both of them were put there, then there would be two answers to the multiple choice question. You could have possible two answers. Okay, we go to the next question.